Fuck yes, boss. 444 the world back in there again once again though. Happy to be here, happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Some people are comfortable with being bad because they get sympathy for it. Woo! Listen, dog. This shit here is an amazing topic because I had this one. I got it like what, like a couple days ago? And I was like, bro, you ever notice? Some people do all the wrongs in the world and they get so much sympathy and all of this for it. I'm going to tell you something that I started to learn, right? There are people who do bad because there's a reward in being bad. I'm not saying a reward as in, yo, if you steal, you're going to get what you stole. Or you get what I'm saying? Like you're, you're going to be able to get whatever it is that you want because you stole it. You didn't have to pay for it. No, when you do bad. There are people who are willing to show sympathy to you, right? I'm gonna be I'm gonna give you a prime example, right? Look at empaths, right? If an empath sees a person who's going through something, they're gonna show some form of a concern, right? But here's the deal what you don't see or understand. There are people who have caused their own issues and problems, but some people have done it intentionally, dog. Intentionally to the point where it's like I want to see who cares about me, who who uh who really uh feels this way about me or whatever the case may be. It's just to grab people's emotions and roller coaster the fuck out of them shits, dog. Roller coaster the fuck out of them shits, bro. And I'm gonna be honest. I heard this shit even in a rap song from Peasy. Um um he said something about get locked up and go to jail and see who really cares. I was like, yo, that's crazy. So I asked somebody this question. I was like, dog, is it niggas who really get locked up just to see who people like who really cares about them, who gonna be there for them? Yeah. I got homies who CEOs, bro. Used to be CEO, current CEOs. Yeah, it's niggas who do shit like that, bro. And it's like a finesse for them. It's like to get care and concern out of people. So I started thinking to myself, like, dog, that's bad, bro. That just goes to show you how much we're lacking as a people, dog. Because proper development has been played with. And I'm going to show you something, right? If proper development has been played with, meaning, yo, there's no father in the household, right? Now, the mother has to be the mother and the father, right? The kids may have not seen the dad being in the household, but they seen the mom doing certain shit, right? You know what that causes now? Uh, 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 imbalance in, um, in proper development. So here's the deal now, right? Because the kids seeing their mom doing it and their mom doing it all. Oh, I don't want my mom to do it all forever. Let me go and help my mom or let me do this or let me do that, right? So they go ahead and handle their business and look at what happens. Yo, um, shit's just not working out the way that it's supposed to, you feel me? Why isn't it things can go the way that they're supposed to? I'm going to tell you what it is, bro. In life. You got to understand something. There are some people, like I said, there are still kids in an adult body, dog. Because there are some people who never got real care, concern, or love. They figured out how to get it back in other ways. Listen closely to what I'm about to tell you, dog. And this ties in with a lot of shit, so I'm going to break it all down, right? There are some people who never had a father in their life or a mother or a real one for that, for that matter, right? They may have had somebody who was concerning or loving or whatever the case may be. But at the same time, some people don't know what real love is, dog. All right? So they go and look for it in different ways. You get what I'm saying? So example, you ever realize that there's a lot of people nowadays who become rappers? I'm going to tell you why. When you're a rapper, you're a benefit. I'm going to tell you a couple of the benefits because this is like a, a special exclusive. So I'm not even going to blend that about rappers, right? When you're a rapper, you're doing music, okay, you do music, you rap. Let you do some good music, people are like, okay. People, okay, people listening. Let you start to get buzz and people start paying attention to you. People are very concerned, very caring, you're a top priority, all of that. Rappers get that type of treatment. I seen that when I was in music. I was like, oh, I see it. This is like a like a way of making up for the people who never had care or concern in their life. Mixed in with, yo, if you want fame and fortune, you could do whatever. Just follow our rules or whatever. Bro, there are people that have figured out their game. So they take it and they run it, dog. 
And that's why it's a benefit for people who do certain things that are bad, bro. Example, you stealing from somebody, you doing this. You ever notice that bad people get all the pity thrown at them in the world, but good people, we don't get any pity thrown at us. <sighs> don't believe me, ask questions, dog. I stated this in a video I just dropped yesterday. When I was trying to talk to girls, and this is law, this is law, this is law, this is law. I'm not speaking just for myself. I speak because I'm like certain shit I say, I've went through it and I tried to get answers to correlate or back that shit to see if I did it the right way or if I did it wrong. But in all understandings, I did it right. You feel me? I know a lot of niggas who play as a lot of niggas who do this, a lot of niggas who do that and they tell me, bro, you ain't do nothing wrong. It's just a lot of females ain't shit. So I'm going to show you something, right? When you're bad, right? You cannot come, you cannot, you cannot challenge me on this shit. When you're bad or you're a bad boy, whatever the case may be, right? People find all the excuses for you in the world, dog. Right? Oh, they never had their father. Oh, you know, they're on tough times or whatever. Let you be a good person who's trying to care. People don't let you get no breaks, bro. That's how it was for me since I was a kid, dog. You don't catch a break. You know how much... You see how, and I never once said, you know what, let me go ahead and switch and be a bad boy because I know who I am, bro, and I feel comfortable with being myself, bro. It's just people try to make me feel like you're not supposed to be who you are. Those thoughts played with me a long time in my life, dog, to the point where it made me think about certain things that I normally would never think of, bro. That's how the world is so confusing and it tricks people to the point where they don't want to be themselves or who it is that God made them to be, bro. There are people who do bad things because it's a benefit in it. I'm going to get sympathy for it. Just like, look at the example, bro. You don't think, it, I, I say this all the time, you don't believe me, ask questions. Look at a lot of these niggas who go to jail and then come out. A lot of these females like, oh, the new niggas is out or the fresh meat is out and this, that, and the third. It's like, I don't know if it's because they have some form of control over those type of dudes. They're like, you know what, bro? Let me go ahead and get me one of these dudes versus one of these good dudes. Because you already good. I ain't, you ain't going to see no value in me. That's a fucking lie. That's a lie, dog. That's a lie. The grass is greener where you water it, my nigga. I did a video about this. The grass is greener where you water it. You cannot expect to water somebody's grass who's not going to appreciate it because they weren't even trying to water their own fucking grass the right way anyways. A person who knows what hard work, blood, sweat, and tears is the right way, guess what? They're going to have a, a stronger chance in, in appreciating you and whatever it is that you do for them as opposed to the person who's very much ungrateful and stuck in a little boy's mindset. Let that shit hit free and let you soak and breathe on that one, dog. Why would I just think of it like this? Close your eyes and imagine, right? I'm a badass. I go to jail. I'm in and out of jail or whatever the case may be. I'm a rapper, whatever the case may be, right? Of course, I'm going to try my best to get somebody to give me their care and concern. Just throw it all on me, right? You giving me all of that, I'm never going to respect you or see your value because guess what? Deep down in my mind, I know that I'm doing this shit to get attention and concern. You would not care about me if I wasn't in this state, right or wrong. Answer that question if you just listen to what the fuck it is I just asked you, bro. That's for women, dog. Answer those questions. You can't. That's why I say it's certain shit. Women feel like they can play the role of a man. You, I never said you can't do certain shit, but there's certain shit you should not be doing and should not be taking pride in because that would help cause an overspill in our society. I said this before on previous videos. Women are stupid powerful, dog. Women got dummy power, dog. I'm going to do a video about this, bro. I'm probably going to stop being selfish and drop that shit this week, bro. Women have stupid power. Crazy power, dog. Crazy power. If you use it in the right way, I'm telling you right now, shit would be so suavecito. So, cocaine dope, nigga. You know that if a woman literally sits there and breathes, like, preaches life into her child, pushes her child, does certain shit the right way, dog, you will turn your, you will turn a fucking superstar into the, you will bring a superstar into the fucking world, dog. Give you an example. Look at Kanye West's mother, dog. Kanye West might have sacrificed his mother. I'm not condoning what the fuck the nigga did. Because that's some next level shit. 
But Kanye West was fucked up when his mother died, bruh. I don't know if he knew that his mother was gonna get sacrificed as opposed to him going for fame. But listen closely to his story, dog. His mom would push him and make him feel like he was something. My mom did the opposite to kill my confidence, dog. When you're not watering the right type of grass, you're gonna kill somebody's fucking drive for life, my nigga. I'm giving you game right now, dog. Women have been giving confidence to the wrong type of niggas, dog. You've been giving confidence to fuck niggas, dog. Lazy ass niggas who don't want to do shit, bruh. That shit will burn you, bruh. I had females tell me, oh, my nigga was this, he was this, he was that. He was so amazing to me. He was amazing to you? So why the fuck aren't you with him after complaining and doing all this extra shit? That's another thing. People try to make other people look good and put them in a certain status of, oh, they were this and they were that. Based off of what you explained to me, it sounded like the nigga wasn't shit. But then again, that's what some people love. You gotta understand something, dog. In life, people choose to be bad because it's a benefit. It's a benefit in it. And some people are comfortable in being in their ways because they see it's a benefit from it. Why do you think America says, yo, a lot of black men are boys, dog? Look at these rappers and their names. Little Baby, Da Baby, 2K Baby, Baby Drill, Baby Soldier, Baby this, baby drum, baby this. Why is everybody a fucking baby, dog? What happened to a grown ass man, my nigga? Just like little this, and little that, and little this, and little that. If you don't believe me, dog, I said certain things on this camera, dog. Words are spells, bruh. You can cast spells with your words, dog. Oh, I want to be like little Wayne, or I want to be like little baby. Look at what females run to. These type of niggas, dog. And then when you wonder why your child acts a certain kind of a fucking way, it's because you help push that shit. Some, not all. So I'm not attacking all women. But there are women who co-sign certain shit, dog. And it's like it's cute. It's cool as hell, bro. It's cool. What do you mean it's cool? If you don't stop and pay attention to the shit that you're doing, I promise you you're going to be pissed off when you see what the end results are, dog. If you don't really sit down and pay attention, like literally, I'm not saying, yo, I'm throwing books at women. I'm not, dog. I'm not. Ever since I came on this camera, the only woman I've really thrown books at is my mother and my two dirty ass foot dragon sisters. You feel me? Other than that, I don't hate women, bruh. But at the end of the day, I'm just letting you know what it is right now, dog. Off of what I've seen, watched, researched, read, all of that. If certain people don't stop the bullshit that they're doing and start going after quality, you're going to start seeing an overspill get turned up a little bit more, dog. There's little kids who's getting embarrassed because your mother has an OnlyFans or she has a Snapchat premium. Dog, look at Kim Kardashian's son. I'm going to be honest. That little kid will probably never be like normal, dog. When certain shit hits the light, dog, I'm praying for that kid. When certain shit hits the light, bro, it's going to fuck with that kid, bro. All because her mom want to be a hot girl and post up and do whatever, dog, and not be concerned about tomorrow, dog. That girl name floating around everywhere, dog. Everywhere, dog. Because it's comfortable. Not switching subjects, but it all correlates. People are comfortable with being bad because they get sympathy for it. Women are comfortable with baby and a lot of bitch ass niggas because it gives them some sense of a power. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. If you feel comfortable baby and one of these niggas, you a weak ass hoe, fool. I'm just being so cutthroat with you. So 1K, 10K, 5K, 100K, you weak as fuck. Because you know that you have some form of a power that, well, he needs me. He needs me for this. He's going to need me for that. That's why y'all ass get replaced a lot. Because you putting in work where that shit wouldn't even fucking matter at. You feel me? You watering grass that will never give life, dog. Some will, some won't. But the grass is really greener where you water it. If you put in that time, that blood, sweat, and tears in the right situation and challenge yourself, that's when people could be like, you know what I've done for you. You know my spot in your life. You can really pull that trigger and hold that card high. You can't hold that card high with certain niggas because they're stuck in a little boy mindset, dog. Why would I appreciate you when it's like, I'm like a little boy, dog. I don't care about being a man. 
You want to know why? Because a lot of niggas see y'all when you're a man, bro. It's not really much of a benefit. Or you don't get love or respect for it, dog. You don't get respected for certain shit that you do. You get walked over, bro. That's a sickening feeling. It's not a good feeling, bro. If you know what it's like to get walked over as a man, bro, and people not recognizing you and belittling you or not appreciating the shit that you do, that's going to cause this uh, overspill where there's a lot of people even more like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, I want to do this. Because people choose not to follow proper development and proper order, that's what's going to cause a fucking overspill in the world, dog. Excuse my language and my cursing, dog. Because this is shit that I say like I'm passionate about, I need to get some water, bro. But the end of the day, realize this, bro. People like doing certain things in that manner because there's a benefit out of it. They get comfort out of being bad. They get, oh, they're bad. Just show them some leniency. Like my fucking mother. Oh, current in this, current in that. That's why I said I don't like that bitch, bro. I have a cousin that's older than me. Kernan, if you're watching my nigga, I'ma keep it 1K with you, my nigga. I don't hate you, but you already know I don't like a lot of shit about you, dog. You a you a you a nigga who always like to hit up niggas whenever, oh it's party time, I wanna have fun, dog. My mom see this nigga, oh my favorite nephew. I ain't saying you can't do shit for your nephew. Kernan is a grown ass man, dog. But why in the fuck is you taking my money when you begging me for money and certain shit is hard to give to a grown ass nigga? Oh, that's my nephew. I don't give a fuck. Run me my check, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. I, you, ain't, you ain't taking my money or oh, things hard to go give to a grown ass man with a fucking job, dog. Who act like a fucking kid, dog. My mom does shit like this, bro. And this is shit you have to sit back and hold, dog. My whole life. The whole, oh, there's no, bro, I'm going to be real. No slack was really cut for me like that as a kid, dog. Barely. That's why I don't cut slack for people. I don't make excuses for people. I don't make excuses for women nor men, dog. I don't show pity or sympathy on not a fucking soul, bro. If you're not a little child or some shit, I'm not showing pity on you, dog. You feel me? That's why you have to be careful with the shit that you do because if people were supposed to treat you how you treated them, some people couldn't take it, dog. There's some females who, yo, you're too, you, you ask for too much. You're too spoiled. Females have told me this, dog, because you're too comfortable talking to these little lazy ass niggas, bro. Keep it G with you, bro. I don't hate nobody. I just speak my mind and I don't, I don't hold my tongue back for shit. You feel me? That's just what it is, dog. But at the end of the day, I'm going to let you guys know this, man. Words can help you. It can hurt you, but here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion, nobody's a loser. I don't hate nobody, dog. I just don't like bullshit. I don't like when people keep making fucking excuses just to do bullshit, dog. If you're gonna boss up or nut up my nigga, nut up and handle your fucking business. But you cannot be expecting that I'm gonna fall in love with using excuses or making excuses because people find comfort in doing that shit. And if you're a person who, oh, this person is this, or they're, they're fell on hard times, you're enabling somebody to be a little bitch. You're a baby, dog. Get your ass up, work for whatever the fuck it is that you want. And this is the part about it that's so suave, my nigga. No female could ever really run around with my name in their mouth, nor a nigga, dog. It's people who seen me like D'Angelo lost his job, then D'Angelo bounced right back up again. Or D'Angelo got a crib, he lost certain shit, he bounced right back again. Nigga, if Mr. Rubber Band Man bounce back was a person, that's me. Comeback person, comeback kid was a person, that's me. I'm not laying down for shit, dog. You feel me? Don't be the type of person who lays down in life and accepts defeat, bro. Because once you accept defeat, you're just going to keep accepting being a quitter, dog. Never be a quitter, my nigga. Pick your chest up, dog, and boss up again, dog. You could do it, my G. You feel me? That being said, like I said, I love the hell out of all you guys, everybody in the nation, bro. Anybody who's found my videos, bro, I got so much love for you guys, bro. I just want to help people and continue doing this. Um, I got a couple lit topics coming out this week, and I finally might have a schedule for my live, so I'm going to cast a voting on that. When you guys want me to go live, you feel me? That being said, man, 444 the world, man. Love the hell out of all you guys, man. Peace.